Two of the hottest AI image to video generators are Seadance and Hilu AI Minimax version two. My name is Rosh and I'm the co-host of the Creative AI Show where we are two creative guys talking AI. And in this video, we're going to compare ByteDance's Seadance, their version one, compared to the Minimax version two from Hilu. Both have been doing an excellent job with comparisons and really a lot of people have, feel that they have taken out Kling and even VO3. So we're going to compare the two and see how well they do, but we're going to challenge them. It's going to be a little more complicated than the simple prompts and requests of the past. I'm currently in Fall AI because I wanted to compare them on the same platform and they're both available here. So the first thing I did was find images from a neutral location. So I went over to Rev. I want to challenge both platforms with images and prompts that have given other AIs a little trouble and a horse jumping over a fence. Well, I asked Rev to create a horse jumping over a fence and it had a hard time doing it. But let's see what the AIs do when we ask them to make these horses jump over fences. And I have a few options. We'll see which one I select in a few moments. I also have one of my standards, which is a model walking down a city street. This time I put a cat in there. Let's see how it works with the cat. I believe I went with the other one. And then a futuristic robot soldier walking down a city street. I have more horses. I have a chef with spaghetti, which certainly can be pretty tough. Actually, I think I'm going to go with this image here for the horses. And then I have a lost robot in a forest. I'll show you what I'm going to do with them in a few moments. Here on the same platform of Fall AI, we can test and see how each one generates again on the same platform. and compare some prices. Now, are these the same prices if you go to their actual websites? Maybe not exactly, but this is how much it is here and it should be a fair representation. For Seadance by ByteDance, it's about 74 cents per five seconds. However, for Minimax, it's less than a third. It's about 27 cents per six seconds. Let's get to it. The first one is the model with the cat. A very simple prompt, model and cat walks toward the camera. It should be the camera, it doesn't matter. We'll use the exact same prompt for both. The AIs can work it out and we run. Here's Sea Dance and wow, look at that, that cat. Well, look at the cat, looks very natural. And the person, she's smiling, looking at the camera. This is a nice rendition of that image. Good clip. Let's see how, Minimax did. Well, Minimax, well, it kept the lighting, but the cat kind of wandered off. It's it's slow motion. I'm definitely going to have to give this one to Sea Dance on the first try. This time, it'll be a little more complicated. Robot Soldier spins and walks towards the camera. So let's see how this goes. Here's Sea Dance, and look at this. Yeah, very good. Uh, interesting light and spins around and then walks towards the camera. Well done, well done. All right, what's Minimax do? And here's Minimax, oh, wow. And moving back and floating towards the camera. Hmm, I, I, I'm gonna say took some liberties here. Uh, I'm not sure this is exactly what I want. There's some interesting elements, but I mean, if, if this is what you want, and if this is what you envisioned, I guess that's okay. But I believe we said walks towards the camera. So uh, prompt adherence, not quite there. Let's try the next one. This one with the horse, I'm curious about because the AI seemed to have trouble with the horse jumping over the fence. So let's check out what Sea Dance does. Hit run. All right, here's Sea Dance in a there was a little bit of a stutter step there, but it's a nice, nice movement. Uh, almost like it was about to jump and then the horse moves on, but it doesn't jump over 
the fence. And again, this is kind of tough. In a couple more videos, we have the chef with spaghetti, which eating is always a tough option within the uh, AI uh, realm. I mean, eating, uh, some of them have been doing better, but not great. So let, let's see what uh, Minimax does with the horse jumping. So here's Minimax, took some liberties there, but the horse jumped. And I'm, I mean, it, it, it again, took liberties on how it went about it to make it work. I'm gonna give Minimax by far, I'm gonna give it the win here because honestly, I haven't, I've had trouble with this prompt in this type of a scenario a few times. And so Minimax, it solved the problem. Now we have the lost robot in the, actually it's a fairy forest and it picks up the mushroom is the prompt. And we'll see how it goes. Is it gonna follow the instructions? Let's check it out. First, sea dance. Here's sea dance and yes, it picks up the mushroom and actually observes it and looks at it. Very natural in this fairy forest. So I think it did a pretty good job. Let's take a look at Minimax. Here's Minimax and kneeling down, picking up, yeah, and observe it. it different, yes. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna give Minimax this one too. Very close. Both are acceptable. Uh, maybe a little bit of morphing in the Minimax one. Just like with the other one, the horse, I think the horse detail was better with Sea Dance, but I like the action here better. So I'm gonna just edge it out with Minimax. So we're going to have a tiebreaker, quite honestly, with the spaghetti, chef eating spaghetti. Let's check it out. So this one, we have the close-up of the chef, and we say chef eats spaghetti and gives a thumbs up. So let's see how it works out. Again, these additional elements in these prompts to see how well they hold together. Hitting run. Sea dance, eating the spaghetti. That's good. That's pretty good. And a good thumbs up. You, there's, you know, maybe some slight details in the end of that slurping of the spaghetti, but it, it drops the knife, which, you know, I thought maybe he's still going to hold on to the knife and try to give the thumbs up. But I think that is close to flawless. I, I mean, that's really good. Let's see what Minimax does. Here we are. Let's see how yeah, eating was a little, little off, but good smile and nice thumbs up. So the eating part, the actual putting the spaghetti in his mouth part was smoother with sea dance. I'm gonna have to say that probably the details are better with sea dance. Um, it is more expensive. The, the Minimax is much less expensive. Both are very good, but if you're gonna pay a little bit more, well, then Sea Dance, I think, is probably worth that additional price. But both are, are excellent and certainly worth the praise that they have been getting lately. If you want to hear more about AI for the creative, head on over to the Creative AI Show, available every Monday on this YouTube channel and, of course, your favorite podcast location. I'll see you in the next video.